Hello, my name is David, and I'm going to show you the importance of the chart of accounts area in Sage 50 Accounts 2015. We're looking on screen at the nominal area, and on the top ribbon toolbar, we'll see a button for the chart of accounts. When we click on this, I've actually got two entries here. You may only have one. The top one, the default layout of accounts, has in brackets partial after it, which indicates that there may be some problem with that in that it's only part of the chart of accounts and not in full. If I click on edit and we have a button at the bottom to check and the fact that it's asking me to preview indicates that there is some further problem with that. So previewing it tells me then that I have a nominal code that's not represented in the chart of accounts. And in this case, it's nominal code 4905. If there were other errors, such as a code that's duplicated in more than one place, then it would also identify that. So if I look at my other sales line here, this is telling me that on my profit and loss account, in the other sales area, it will include all nominal codes in the code range from 4900 to 4903. And clearly that is omitting 4905. So if I include that and save this, it's now removed the partial word from that and going to edit and check will now tell me that there are no errors in that chart of accounts. Now, when you look at the default chart of accounts, it very often will look like this, in that the profit and loss account, by looking at the sales area here, I can amend the word sales if I wish to. And straight away, the preview will show me the effect of any changes that I'm making. I might not want to, inc to call these product sales and export sales. I might have got a different uh, set of, of nominal codes which perhaps have these as different areas and I want to give different descriptions to this. It might be wholesale sales, retail sales and so on. And making the relevant changes there will then change what comes out on my management accounts. Note that on the balance sheet, as well as the areas such as fixed assets and long-term liabilities with a group there and the capital and reserves for the balance sheet at the bottom here, we have also in the current assets and the current liabilities a special section here of accounts that actually appear in both areas. And these so-called floating accounts will be either uh, an asset or a liability depending on whether they are positive or negative. So accounts included in this area can flip between the two areas of the balance sheet. Another nice function that they've brought in uh, in the profit and loss account is the ability to have a taxation code which means that our profit and loss account can then show a profit before tax with tax charge and then the retained profit after tax on there. Now this has two functions. Firstly, for producing management accounts, which we can get through uh, financial reports. And secondly, and quite importantly, for the year end close, because at the year end, the system will look for any nominal codes that are included in any of these ranges in the profit and loss account area. And it will look to put a journal through to make those accounts close off to zero, whilst any code that's on the balance sheet areas, it will retain those and leave those intact. So for that reason, it's important to make sure that your chart of accounts is kept accurate and up to date, even if you're not using the management accounts facility in there. So that's a little quick tour around the chart of accounts area. I hope you found that useful. 
If you have any comments regarding this then please leave them in the area below the video or check out some of our other Sage videos.